Hi, my name is Julia Dean of the Julia Dean Photo Workshops, and I'm here to teach you some basic lighting rules today. Right now, I have my uh, Canon flash set up to do a portrait, and I've got it set up in a high side lighting. Right, this is also called a Rembrandt lighting. Now, you might want to get it up a little bit higher, a little bit lower, depending on how much or how little of the, the, the rest of the body you want, but this is basically, if you put it at a 45 degree angle, that's a high side lighting. It's called the main light. So you always set up the one light first, that being the main light or the key light. So that was high side la lighting or Rembrandt lighting, it's also called. Um, this right here is called frontal lighting. Now you can bring the light down and, and flatten it out a little bit. Um, the problem with frontal lighting in this manner is that there's nowhere for me to stand when I take the picture. So the way I like to actually do frontal lighting better is I like to put one light here and then put a second light just like it right here that creates frontal lighting and then it gives me a place to stand in the middle. Right? The other standard lighting is what's called side lighting or hatchet lighting. And side lighting is where you get the light right to the side and then you come out here and then the, the photographer's out here shooting and what happens is that's going to light the side of him. This side is going to be dark and this side is going to be light. It's called hatchet lighting also. So <clears throat> that's side lighting. Now if you turned your, your subject to look into, you know, turn completely to the side and look right into the light, then, then you're using side lighting but you're actually lighting the front of his face and doing a really nice profile. So that's a nice lighting technique too. I'm Julia Dean and this is a lesson in basic lighting techniques. Thank you.